Hey guys, it's Chris, and we're back with another Amiga upgrade video. Uh, this time it's on a 3000 again. Uh, we're going to be putting some more memory in it. I got some uh, 1MX4 uh, 60 nanosecond RAM. Uh, the Amiga requires 80 or faster. I already have 8 in here, and this will give it 12, maybe 13, I don't know. I have 8 on this, and I think I have 5 here. I did make the mistake of being dyslexic. I ordered a whole bunch of RAM. This is uh, 18 of these, and these are 1M or no 4MX1s. Whoops, they're not going to work. I need 1MX4s. So I have a whole boatload of those for something I will never use. I also acquired this old 13-inch uh, IBM. I'm going to scrape this sucker off. Uh, this is a TFT, I don't know the model, like a 9513 TFT, but I liked it because it was the same bone uh, color, like the almond color that the 3000 is, and I think they go well together when this is all sitting like this. It's, it's a pretty close color. I don't know if this was white at one time, because it is a little bit of a difference between the two. Okay. I got my SCSI to SD as you can see here and that doesn't look good. Well that's weird. That sucks. Maybe it works. I don't know. Ah, uh, looks like the monitor used to work. I see some stuff here but it's really screwy. It's like a little tap. Looks like crap. Uh, I still see some banding here. Okay, if I turn the contrast down it seems to fix the banding. Not bad. I mean, I think it looks okay. It's a small screen, but you know, it's uh, functional. So right now I have 8 megs of RAM fast and 2 megs of chip. So we're going to shut this down and we're going to open, open her up and uh, go over putting some memory in here. I did have to trim it a little bit, it wasn't perfect. So what happens is you can pull this right off, sometimes, and I marked it front so I knew which way it went on. I put pegs on there and it uh, they threaded in and then I screwed the connector in to keep it elevated. And I had to trim a little bit on the sides so it was the proper uh, width so it would fit in. The pins fit into these SCSI to SDs holes and it just holds it fine. You can hot glue it I guess, but for now. Here are the 3000 uh, Zip 20 sockets. So we're going to go ahead and insert these chips if I can get the tape off. There is writing focus there we go and a little dot in the top left corner and you want to make sure that or the lower left corner that usually the writing is the same way now on the Amiga like I showed you before the memory is installed in banks so you have bank 0 bank 1 now I'm going to go in bank 2 I'm just going to use the GoTech. I'm not going to hook the hard drive up. We'll boot off a workbench disk. All right, you'll notice my colors are corrected. Now we're going to go to a three dot one dot four install, and here we go. Now the overscan is going to be off, and there we go. There is 12 megs of RAM and two megs of chip. So that works. Okay, so now we're mostly reassembled here. So there we go. 11 megs of RAM. Yeah, virus th uh, Z3 does not like 3141. It thinks the vectors are out of alignment. So
All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Mega test kit. Okay, we're just gonna do memory. We have 14 total megs of RAM. We're just gonna do test all RAM. Just to make sure the new stuff works. How do you tell when it's done? What is this round 1.3? I don't. Four more megs of RAM, and I got it maxed out with 16, so I will be taking this apart again in the future. Hopefully, in a couple of days. I guess it passed. 6030, NTSC. Okay, system reset. So that's that. I think a 3000, 12 megs of RAM. We're going to put this back together and give the Amex some more memory to function with and let it do its thing. I do have a external drive with a System 7 partition. The original owner sent me the hard drives. I erased his personal information off of them. And uh, I'm going to fire that up right now. He gave me his hard drive, but the 50, the original hard drive that came with the Amiga, however, it didn't survive. It has all the original stickering, like the 50 meg, 17 mils, second access time, Amiga, something up here, final test by 12. It just, it doesn't work. All right, I found the Amex drive. I wrote on it. Amex 2, System 7. Okay, I got it. So now we're gonna hit start. I'm saying okay. There we go, it's booting. The hard drive light works. You can hear this loud hard drive here. So boots, we got the welcome to Macintosh. It's got a couple control panels that load. I'm thinking about moving this to a compact flash drive so it's not as noisy and I can store it all internally and don't have to use an external. So I'm not worried about RAM right now. <coughs> it has some games on here and some other stuff that doesn't have the user's uh, things. The Amex utilities are on there. File transfer. A lot of different little things from the startup folder and it's still in two color it's not June 15th 2019 but this uh this does work and the about this Mac says system 7 10 megs of RAM 9 megs free 1991 which is around the time frame of this device the control panels all work um, Chooser's got some printers. I don't have any networking on this yet. That's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really have a lot of stuff on here, but it's nice to have, you know, oh, it's got After Dark, which is funny, because it's in two color, four color. So Starry Night. can of worms. Very simple screensavers. Electric fire. Fade away. Hard rain. Crabs. There's a little crab eating. kind of sucks. Logo. Messages. Ten dollar shareware for that. Only works with grayscale monitors. Lots of uh, lots of cool things. So anyway, that's the Amex System Seven, and uh, 
we can shut down. Uh, rocking with the surround sound and just here's some space to breeze. Sounds pretty good. It's pretty loud. The bass is pretty good for four channel. I mean, okay. So that's about it. That's just a small update. Sounds pretty good. I'm having fun.